Yesterday was trash day in my neighborhood, so I was out just walking around and I came across this. So this is from a neighbor's house that's actually two doors down. Uh, many years ago, uh, three, four years ago, something like that, I did a minor service on this for him, which really just amounted to a full uh, clean out of everything, uh, bathing of the cyclonic assembly and the filter that's um, up there in the top. And uh, well, now you can see what it looks like. So he went and said that uh, wasn't sucking anything up. They have a dog that's a uh, little over a year old, I think. So they need to pick up that dog hair as well as everything else. So he said he bought a bagged vacuum to replace this that starts with the letter V. V is in Victor. I'm not sure exactly what uh, that one could actually be. Maybe you could tell me in the comments section below. But let's take a closer look at this Wind Tunnel 2 Whole House Elite. How about the first thing that we do is see if it turns on. <laughs> well, he would be right that it wouldn't be sucking anything up because there's hardly any airflow at all through that tube. I wonder where the clog and or clogs are. So how low is the flow? Let's find out. Not only does this machine stink like, well, say, dog, it also smells like cigarettes, and we don't even have a one. In fact, it didn't even pull the little yellow disc off of the zero mark. So remember, suction isn't what moves your dirt. You gotta move the air, because that moves the dirt in the air. Suction doesn't move dirt. So. Let's see if we can start doing a little analysis here. Find out really what's happening. Funny story, with this machine, but not this exact machine, many years ago, I found another one that was curbside. The only thing is, I couldn't save it, except for that. So, I wonder. Let's see, can I plug this right in, have it work? And this is completely clean, even the filter that's inside. Well, clicked in. All right, let's see what happens now. <laughs> yeah. That made a difference. Let's check the airflow again. So if you think you heard something kind of declog itself and go clunk and kind of make it into the bin up there, you'd be right. And I'll show you that in a minute. Let's see if we improve the airflow at all. A 
little bit. Just a little bit. So, not only did you have a poof of dirt, but you had a penny. Although I don't think that was the entirety of the clog at all. I think there's, I think there's more in there, or maybe more in here, or more there, or someplace. Let's see if the main airflow inlet is flowing well. Yeah, that's in pretty good shape right there. hose just by stretching the hose let me get you in closer Ooh, I wonder if anything jammed up in the filter nope this was perfectly clean and it's still yeah, it's still perfectly clean, but uh, that's a nice that's a nice little pile there, isn't it? Let's take a look at the original filter in here. Well, that doesn't seem too bad. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's a little on the clog side, don't you think? Ha <laughs> ha! Dirt so thick you can peel it off. Isn't that great? Look at that. Nice. Does it smell that? You know, it doesn't actually smell that bad. <laughs> so, hose dirt, filter dirt. Let's see, here's, here's what that looks like. I'm sure the cyclones are a mess inside there. I'm, I'm sure they are. Oh, brother. Not much in the in the bin, though. I mean, not really. It's just a little bit. Let's see if the brush roll spins. Got the magic little squeeze button over here to push. All right, so that tells me we have probably a broken belt or a belt that popped off, something like that. So. I think it's time to go and uh, put this wind tunnel 2 into the bathtub. Doesn't that look fabulous?
But take a look at this. From the factory, the motor, well, really the motor seal was never seated properly. So the motor's supposed to have the seal kind of ride right on that ridge right there, and you see you see a good line in this rubber seal. But now I'm, I'm exaggerating it so you can more easily see it. This is how it was more or less placed in here, and the, the little edge right here, plastic on rubber edge, was never connected. So the seal was actually pushed too far forward. And now if I seat that properly, you have a good connection, plastic to rubber here and also here. It literally wasn't making it. Yeah, there was just, there's no seal there. So well, now there is, but uh, there wasn't at the factory. And motor seems fine. There's a giant mess of screws. I didn't even take it completely apart, just mostly. I think I can just wipe this off. See if it smells better after all that. So everything's now cleaned up, or as cleaned up as it's going to be. Even the hose. So we have everything drying. And I think I have a solution to repair those two holes in that hose right there. Hope that works. I'm not interested in spending money on a machine like this to uh, repair that hose to get another one. And I bet you thought that I forgot to take apart the top of the cyclonic assembly. There that is, and also the turbo tool. And there that is. So everything's drying. So stay tuned for the reassembly and eventual running of this wind tunnel tube.